Hi, hello, how are you? My dear voice of students and the competitive voice of IT. I am heartfully invited to my channel. I am very heartfully thankful to all of my subscribers because in a short time only I reached 206 subscribers in just 10 to 12 videos only. I am very thankful to all of my subscribers and friends for your support. I need this much of support always from you. Because your support only, I continue my journey and provide an efficient of subject from my heart. In this video, we have to discuss about the keywords. Keywords are those words which have predefined meaning and part of the C language. Keywords are those words which have predefined meaning and part of the C language. Predefined means Predefined means Keyword meanings already explained in C language Keyword meanings already arranged in C language. Keyword meanings already defined in C language. For example, A, B, C, D, up to Z. These all are the alphabets in English language. These alphabets are already defined in English language. These alphabets are already explained in English language. These alphabets are already arranged in the English language as it is in the same way. The keywords meanings are already explained in C language. The keywords meaning are already defined in C language. The keywords meaning are already arranged in C language. <coughs> Next. Keywords are the words whose meaning already explained to the compiler. Keywords are the words whose meaning already explained to the compiler. Keywords are the words whose meaning already explained to the compiler. For example, A, B, C, D up to Z. These all are the alphabets. These alphabets meaning already explained in English language. And these alphabets should be used as it is as they have defined in a English language. We cannot use B as like this. We cannot use C as like this. We cannot use D as like this. Because those alphabets already defined in English language. Those can be used as it is. As they have defined in English language. In the same way. In C language also. These keywords can be used as it is. As they have defined in C language. Otherwise, the compiler will give an error. The user cannot get a proper output or proper result if he cannot use already defined keywords or already explained those meanings to the compiler. These keywords can be used as it is as they have defined in C language. Otherwise, the compiler will give an error. <coughs> Next. There are 32 keywords in the C language. There are 32 keywords in the C language. Keywords are the reserved words. Keywords are the reserved words. For example, if a young couple want to go holiday trip for Uti or Goa, the reserved flight tickets. In the flight, those seats are reserved for those couples only. In those seats, none of the other person can sit because those seats are already reserved. Here also, the keywords are already reserved words. Any other words cannot be used in those keywords. Any other words cannot be used in the place of those reserved keywords. The variables cannot be used as keywords. The variables are already explained in Variables, if you have any doubts, please watch my previous
previous video on variables variables cannot be used as a keywords there are 32 keywords in a c language there are 32 keywords in a c language and number 1 integer 2 character 3 float 4 double 5 sign 6 unsigned 7 short 8 long 9 if 10 else do 11 do 12 while 13 for 14 which 15 case 16 default 17 go to 18 break 19 continue 20 auto static 21 static 22 external external 23 register 24 structure structure 25 union 26 enumeration 27 count 28 void 29 volatile 30 return 31 type def 32 size up these are the 32 keywords in a c language these are the 32 keywords in a c language these keywords should be used as it is as they have depend in a c language otherwise the compiler will give an error otherwise the user can cannot get a proper result or proper output these should be used as it is as they have depend in a c language for example here we write as int but pronounce it as an integer here we write as a char but pronounce it as a character here we write as a struct but pronounce it as a structure here we write as a enum but pronounce it as a enumeration this is the info on the keywords <coughs> thank you we discuss another identifier constants in the next video thank you very much we'll meet in the next video or we'll meet in the next serial or we'll meet in the next episode thank you